Denmark is a leader in wind power. Today we have about 20% of our electricity coming from wind. The characteristic of Bornholm is that this is a small island. So we have here a controlled environment and we have a lot of wind energy on Bornholm also. So in Denmark on average we have about 20% wind energy in our grid, but on Bornholm is almost 50%. So this is an ideal environment for us to test in a small scale the balancing between the electrical cars and the grid with a lot of renewable energy in it. The reason why it's uh, very good to do the demonstration here in Bornholm is because both we have short distances on, on Bornholm because we are an island, a quite small island. Also we are able to disconnect the sea cable to Sweden so that we are in what we call islanding mode. This is a modern 2 megawatt wind turbine and uh, modern in the sense that we are able to control the effect given from the wind turbine so that we could actually say uh, right now we only want one megawatt from the wind turbine even though it's able to produce two and one of the reasons to do this is uh, if it's better balancing the, the consumption and the production. If you do not have the possibility to, uh, to have someone using the power produced from the wind turbines, we will eventually have to turn them off to simply uh, let them stop running if the wind is blowing and we do not have anyone to take the, uh, the excess power. So what we're doing is actually to make the, the, the intelligent solutions uh, that enable a good interaction between the, the vehicles and the power system. The car that I'm driving here is uh, emitting only 50% or even less uh, of the carbon dioxide that, uh, that a normal car is, uh, is emitting. When we want to use the most wind power in the car, we use IT to fuel the tank. We can agree with the power company when we need the car and when we would like to charge the car. This is kind of the laboratory uh, of the, the future power systems. I think that's, that's really exciting to see the solutions go into the field and be applied instead of making purely uh, academic research in itself, uh, to see this link with the uh, reality. In a few years, we will have the smart grid here in Denmark and we will all be better at optimizing our energy consumption and our footprint on the environment.